Hello friends, welcome to the homestead. If this is your first time in our channel, we want to extend you a warm welcome. If you've been here before but you have not subscribed, please subscribe. If it is your birthday, happy birthday. Today we're going to have another video in our automotive series. One of our CRVs, this 205 CRV, has developed a, a front end a suspension issue that is manifested by shaking and uh, what, what other symptoms? Uh, pulls to the right. Pulls to the right. It does intermittent vibration at certain RPMs. And, uh, uh, it pulls to the right when you're braking now. Okay, excellent. So one of the first things we're going to do, we are going to, to lift the car, so we're going to check the, the boostings and we're going to check and see how the, the wheels behave. So we're going to try to lift the car. Probably in this case we better put some. Generally driveways are in an incline and because we're going to do that in our driveway, we're not going to bring it to the garage, we're going to choke the rear wheels so we're going to avoid any likelihood of the car actually uh, sliding backwards as we're lifting it since we're going to switch the, the center of gravity. Okay. So I guess let's get the keys. We're not going to start the car, we're just going to unlock the steering wheel and turn the wheels so we have a better view of uh, the under carriage area. We have some uneven wear on the tire, as you can see, but not as bad as in the other side. You can do another side if you want to show. I couldn't see it from underneath and that 
with the rubber boot on it? Yeah. Okay. That is the front boot and it looks like the boot is totally gone. You know? I don't know why you why you're saying the boot is totally gone? Because I can see a big gap between the group boot and the metal. Okay. See that gap there? Okay, I will look at something else entirely. Okay. Do you see it now? Yeah. Okay. 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 This tire has a substantially worse wear than our other tire, which is strange because you said it pulls right, right? Yep. Let's see if I can see. Here. You cannot see this in here. That's okay. There's really no play, which is interesting. You didn't play on the other one? I really don't think so. No, not really. I would have expected some play here. Okay. But I don't. So now what? Let me see if I can save it. Go and see if I can touch it. Actually, I'm here. I saw you the wrong thing, but that needs changing too. It is actually here. This is the thing. Mm. Okay. But I see no play on it. When the boot is damaged, Clearly. Here, you can see that? Yeah. So. So then this, usually when this goes bad, the wheel has a play because you see how it holds the, its mm -hmm. job is to hold the wheel vertical. Mm -hmm. And I've never seen one that has failed that it is not. Moving. moving, but this is not moving at all. You can use the front of the the more. Well, I've got a left light, and it's very clear. Okay. So we might need to do a little more diagnostics. The dealer insists that this is the problem, and I do see that this will need to be changed. But I, I, because the wheel doesn't move at all. I'm not sure, and the arm doesn't move up and down at all. So I see, look, I mean, I, I try my hardest, and I can, mm -hmm. I can really not do anything to this wheel. So stay tuned, folks. Ready? Mm So we took the car to the dealer for an evaluation and we came back with a diagnosis of that both, floor, both front lower ball joints need replacement at a cost of $1,542.64. Now mind you, we found the parts and uh, the two ball joints cost together $18. So it is mind-boggling that the dealer wants almost $1,600 to, to do this job. And we will try to do this job and, and show it to you. However, I'm still a little skeptical because uh, even though initially the symptoms of what the car does point towards ball joints, when we did the test, as you saw in our video, they, the test does not indicate that there is any play at all, which makes 
me question the diagnosis, if you wish. In any case, the ball joints do need replacement because uh, they are fairly worn. So we will probably replace them and hope that this is indeed the problem, especially under the, the dealer diagnosis. But we also found something very intriguing. I was very intrigued that the, the wear on the driver's side tire was worse than the passenger side tire. Or did I say it incorrectly? No, correctly, right? You said it correctly. When it should be really the opposite. And when we're looking at uh, the dealer's uh, report of um, the camber and the caster and the tow and the total steering and towing of the vehicle uh, that confirms it that the tire should not be the tire should not be worn the way they are which only led us to believe that the dealer actually switched the tires around put the left to the right and the right to the left in one of my cars actually i have the tires marked but in this car we don't so we cannot make be for sure that they did that which will be a very stupid things for them to do because you're not supposed to do that. You're not supposed to switch sides on tires. In any case, the tires will need to be replaced and we do need to fix the front end because the car is, is fairly unstable right now, especially under uh, hard braking. So we will keep you uh, abreast of uh, any progress we're doing. And, um, and I guess that's about it. All right, friends, unfortunately, this has been inconclusive. While I see some wear and tear on, uh, on the uh, lower ball joints, they don't seem to be in uh, such a bad shape. And definitely, they are passing the wiggle test. When you put your hands on the wheel at uh, east, west, or north, south, and you try to move the wheel. And in, in, in our case, the wheel doesn't, doesn't move at all. So we do need to do a little more troubleshooting, but in the meantime, I did check the price of these parts and for the pair, you always change those in pairs, uh, for the pair it is $18 and a half, something like in that area. So the part is not very expensive. To do the work, however, is somewhat complicated. It should take at least a couple of hours to do that uh, because we still don't have a lift here. It would be much less if we had a lift, but uh, doing it with floor jacks, it's about a couple of hours of work. Anyway, uh, we are going to keep you appraised of the, how this car repair is going. And if you enjoyed this uh, episode, please smack that like button. If you didn't, the other button works as well. Subscribe, like and comment. And we're going to see you again soon.